Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by the last here in Liverpool for a massive fight week headline by Conor Ben and Katie Taylor. Not fighting each other, of course. I'll tell you who is fighting, Mr. Jordan Gill. How are you, mate? I'm good, mate. How are you? Very well, very well. I'm kind of gutted, though, because we expected you to fight for the European title against Gwerthy, um, someone who was known on these shores as well. Um, was lining up like a show stealer, to be honest, seeing you and him in the ring. But that's not going to be the case. And um, you're still going to be out in the ring on Saturday. That's going to be next year. But uh, a slight tinge of disappointment, I suppose. A massive tinge, tinge of disappointment. You know, I got a smile on my face, but I'm crying inside. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, so it was a bit of pill to swallow. And, you know, when I was told that he's pulled out, I was, uh, I was upset for about an hour. I was like, oh, like, that's it. Blah, blah, blah. The, Oh, it's frustrating, this and that, and you just don't want to get out of bed, do nothing, and uh, you know, I, I sulked, I sulked big time for an hour, and after that, I grabbed, grabbed myself together, I uh, gathered my thoughts, and I thought, you know, we've got a still fight, hopefully it's still fight, and uh, you know, matchman got me out again, um, it's an eight rounder, keep busy, I'm boxing since February, so it's going to be good to get some rounds in, and uh, push on for that European title early next year. I think you can be forgiven for having a little sulk. I think you can be forgiven. Um, in terms of that sort of exact moment, for the people who don't know, because I spoke to a few people today who still weren't aware, by the way, that he'd pulled out. So for the people who don't know, can you just sort of tell us why he's pulled out and sort of how the whole, the whole process went of you finding out? Yeah, I think it was last week or the end of the week before, um, Matchroom um, told me that, that Gurfi pulled out. Apparently, about six, seven weeks ago, he had COVID, so it was you know, serious. Um, he, been, he was fine, he was back into training, but he just weren't feeling 100%. After about six or seven rounds, he's starting to feel his lungs or whatever. So, you know, he weren't far off 100%, but he weren't 100%. And, you know, I don't think anyone should get in the ring unless they're 100%. So, you know, he, he's a champion, that's the respect that he deserves. So, fair play, they need another month to get ready they've got another month so I'm still fighting uh, I'm going to keep active and as soon as they want it in January I'm going to be ready. Yeah, does this kind of play in your favour as well because all right you could argue that he's sort of got more time to recover and like you said we don't want to see him in there if he's not 100% anyway from a fight perspective but for you you're sort of keeping busy um, you ain't fought in what about nine months as well so you're back in the ring and then in a couple of months time you could be fighting for the European title so could this kind of benefit you in a little way? Yeah, definitely. Um, I feel like I'm going to be uh, better from from having this fight, having this run out. Um, you know, I was ready to fight for European this week, so you know, I'm I'm on wait. So if it's January, it's only another month. So I'm on wait a, a month before before the fight. I'm fit. I'm firing. I'm sharp. This to me, I'm going to treat it like a sparring session, um, but you know, a little bit more intense. So. You know, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to putting out, put, putting a show on. Um, I was obviously, I was meant to fight in September out in in Spain, and uh, you know that went tits up the week before as well. And uh, we're finally here, fight week. It just is boxing, though, isn't it? You don't always get the rub of the green, like. And obviously, there's a couple of times where things have happened with you, like you mentioned Spain and whatnot. And obviously, remember your first defeat when you wasn't in sort of the right frame of mind and you weren't right um, physically as well. But that's just boxing, isn't it? That's like you've been in and around the game. You know how it works. Even your stable mates and that would have had it. Boxing just works like that, doesn't it? That's it. It's boxing. It's life. You know, nothing ever goes to plan. You're gonna have ups and downs. You're gonna have, you know, days where you think, oh bloody, I don't need that. And it is what it is. You gotta uh, crack a smile. Sometimes you just gotta get on with it and. Uh, See, it just persists, and it's always you know, see fighters that have just persisted, and 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 you know, even if they're not the most talented, they get there in the end. Um, you know, sometimes you just got to stay on it and just stay ready and stay stay in the gym. And and you know, we've seen it time and time again. I mean, look at Maxi Hughes, um, you know, he'd been beat a handful of times, you know, at domestic level. He's IBO world champion, um, he's lined up to be you know, a, a massive fight, so you know, he, he's hit some, some really good form. Um, and I suppose I know it's more annoying because I feel like obviously you can tell me but I feel like everyone's kind of waiting for you to win this European titles if that's the sort of step you need to complete before you move on it's kind of like yeah you was to win the European title this weekend and that's sort of the almost like a milestone in your career before you can go on to, to bigger and better things I feel like it is as well and I, it was something that I really wanted to win like a, a European title is a is a title that I really a proper European the EBU like the yeah. Yeah. yeah it's not a fake one it's no no messing about this time um, but yeah I think I think this is the right step I think 
I win that European title, my my name could be well and truly in the mix at world level. Um, you know, I won the Commonwealth. This will be the European. I've had two WBA international um, titles, so. I'm up there. I mean, I'm in. I think two governing bodies um, win the European. I think I'll be in the WBC as well. So, you know, any time after that, if I get a world title shot, sure, I know I'm ready. I know, I know I'm ready to go in there and, and do the business and bring it home. World title shot end of 2022. Why not this time next year? We could be looking at fighting for or just a fought for a world title and and uh, could be world champion. Standing there talking to you, Oscar. There'll be a bigger queue behind me if you've got a world title by next year. Um, Jordan, pleasure. Thank you for giving me some of your time. Um, obviously not the fight we wanted, but getting there, do the job on Saturday and we'll have something big next year. And uh, yeah, thanks for giving me some of your time. That's it. You know, we're, we're still here. We're still smiling. We're still persisting. I've got a good fight on my hands on Saturday night. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to do a job. Christmas is cancelled. Karim Gurphy will pay next year, early next year. Come on, let's go. I'm ready. I forgot about that. He's cancelled your fucking Christmas, isn't he? Bastard. I was really, really looking forward to, to Christmas dinner. You know, there you're going to give yourself anything over Christmas, any sort of let up over Christmas. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I might be able to have some extra cabbage, uh, possibly some extra spinach. Um, there'll be certainly no sticky toffee pudding, uh, no Christmas pudding, but it'll be worth it when I'm European champion. Of course, top man. Yeah.